This is the fifth song, fifth poem in Opeth's concept album, Still Life, uh, Face of Melinda. Face of Melinda. By the turnstile beckons a damsel fair, the face of Melinda neath blackened hair. No joy would flicker in her eyes, brooding sadness came to arise. Words would falter to atone, failure had passed the stepping stone. She had sworn her vows to another, this is when no one will bother. And conceded pain in crumbling mirth, a harlot of God upon the earth, found where she sacrificed her ways, that hollow love in her face. Still I plotted to have her back, the contentment that would fill the crack. My soul released the fluttering sigh, this day fell the darkness nigh. I took her by the hand to say, all faith forever has been washed away. I return for you in great dismay, come with me far away to stay. Endlessly gazing in nocturnal prime, she spoke of her vices and broke the rhyme, but baffled herself with the final line, my promise is made, but my heart is thine. The first quote that we're looking at is no joy would flicker in her eyes brutness sadding came to arise now techniques we have first is hyperbole right no joy at all and personification brooding sadness came to arise and joy flickering the effect the persona fears that melinda's choice is to stay in the town and that she has rejected him Words would falter to a tone. She had sworn her vows to another. The techniques, past tense, and alliteration. The words would is the alliteration. The effect. Uh, the persona realizes that whatever he says will be futile in changing her mind. And Melinda, that Melinda has sworn herself to someone or something else. Now, given how religious the town is, and this has been established in the first four songs, it's safe to assume that it is God that she has made her vows to. And conceded pain in crumbling mirth, a harlot of God upon the earth, found where she sacrificed her ways, that hollow love in her face. Alright, so techniques, cacophony. Now, cacophony is a specific kind of alliteration. Uh, with the harsh C or K sound, so conceded, crumbling, sacrificed, even though that's not at the start of the word, it's within there. And visual imagery, right? So what the persona is seeing is what is being described. Now the effect, so Melinda feels dissatisfied within herself for having given in to lust and having slept with the persona. Um, so it's through sacrificing her sinful ways, sacrificing her lust and everything else that she gets joy out of. They are either crumbling mirth, mirth being happiness and joy, and that's crumbling because she's accepting the pain. Uh, she will find acceptance in the town and within herself by giving up those sinful ways. My soul released the fluttering sigh, this day fell the darkness nigh the techniques we have first one is symbolism with the around day and darkness again and we have first person narration right my soul tells us it's first person narration so the effect uh despite the persona's determination to win her over from god he is aware of his own limitations in this attempt in this aspiration right he knows it's going to be really hard but he's up for the challenge. I took her by the hand to say, all faith forever has been washed away. I return for you in great dismay. Come with me far away to stay. The techniques we have, rhyme. Now, there is a lot of rhyme in this poem. The reason I highlight it here, because prior to this, they're all rhyming couplets. So the two lines, you know, lines one and two, 
rhyme and a three and four rhyme in each of the stanzas before this one. This one, all of them have the same rhyme. And it is dialogue, right? He is saying this to Melinda. Uh, the effect is the persona is not giving up on her. He still wants Melinda to come with him. She spoke of her vices and broke the rhyme. My promise is made, but my heart is thine. Now, just a reminder, the ellipsis means I'm including everything uh, in the stanza before she and between rhyme and my, i.e. I'm including lines one and three, but I'm highlighting lines two and four here. Now, techniques, we have an internal rhyme with vices and rhyme. So rhyme is where the last word of lines rhyme, and internal rhyme is where we have the rhyme within one line. And I, yeah, as I'm saying this, I realize that I'm using that long I vowel sound, but that's where the rhyme is, with vices and rhyme. And secondly, syntax. Now, syntax is the order of words in a line of poetry or in a sentence. So specifically, the last line, my promise is made, but my heart is thine. That's the syntax I'm looking at. Now, the effect, Melinda is telling the persona that she has made her vow. She's made her promise to God but she will always love him the persona right my promise is made to god but my heart is yours 